Do you want to learn how to do this? Well, I'm going to show you. Yo, what is up, Zay Gang? Welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been a minute since I've done this, but today I'm going to show you pretty much what you just saw. I'm going to show you three different eye techniques, and let's just get started, you know? Come on. All right, so the first effect we're going to do is the Sharingan. So I have my clip right here, and the first thing we want to do is go over here, right-click, new, null object, nah. Let's try that again no object and then we're just gonna rename this left track okay and then uh we're gonna duplicate this and then name this top one right track and so let's double click our layer go over to tracker and if you don't see this on the right hand side go over to window and then it should be right here uh it should be checked and so what we want to do we're gonna put so we're going to start tracking at the end and then going backwards since my eyes are already opened at the end. It'll just make things easier. And so we're going to start with our left one. So we're going to click track motion, edit target, and then make this left track. And then we're just going to adjust this so it fits our entire eye. Yo, so I didn't realize this until after the recording but the bigger your tracker box is the longer it'll take to track so try to keep your tracker box as small as possible and you'll have a much better performing track dang how many times am i going to say track in a sentence anyways enjoy the rest of the video all right and then we will click this arrow right here uh no click the back one since we're starting at the end so we'll click this one and then it will start tracking. And also if your tracking kind of messes up, you can just move this cursor to where it needs to be, but that'll be good right there. So I'm gonna trim this to right here. Same with this one. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit apply and then press okay. And then we're gonna do that same exact thing to the right eye. So we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna, click track motion again Put this in. okay and then we're gonna make sure this is at the right track and then we're gonna do this again all right so now that we finished both tracks we can go ahead and right click and make a solid. We'll name this left mask. And then make it a black. And then we're gonna trim this. Uh, we're gonna make this not visible. And then we're gonna parent this to the left track. And then we're gonna create another solid. Make this right mask. And then parent this to the right track. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, end again. And then we're going to go over here to this ellipse tool, go to the middle, hit control shift and then drag to about right, uh, no. about like right there. And then we can do some adjustments. And then we're going to click M hit mask path. And then we can kind of make small adjustments as the time goes on. Especially right here. So when I close my eyes. All right. Okay, cool. So now we have uh, our mask right here. And then I might actually adjust this. Cool. And then we're just going to do that same thing to the right eye.
All right, cool. And now we have the boring stuff done. Now we can start getting onto the interesting stuff and making it look like a Sharingan. So um, I have two Sharingan eyes. I just pulled off the internet. You can just look up like Sharingan PNG or realistic Sharingan. I, I, I'm using realistic ones because we're going for a realistic look. So I'm gonna pull this one here. I'm gonna put this under the mask and then and then I wanna get rid of this white background, so I'm just gonna make a mask. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then we're gonna parent this Sharingan to the right track, and then we're gonna go over here to the mat and then do alpha mat. And then we're just gonna kinda adjust it Just it like so. Cool. And then that looks really bad. So we're gonna go over, click uh, M twice to pull up the masking options. And then we're gonna go to feather, make it like 13, and then go to mask expansion, make it negative th three. And that already looks a lot better. We might do five or yeah, make it like negative 10. That that looks a lot better. And um, I, I'm gonna start with one eye first and then you guys can just do the other eye, the same exact process. So honestly, it already kind of looks pretty cool, but it doesn't have that realist, like it just doesn't look that realistic yet. So before we make it look good, let's just make sure it sticks in place. Cool. All right, yeah, so it's a pretty good track. And so now we're gonna add a curves effect to it. And then we're gonna kind of darken it. Add that. And then for the blending mode, we're gonna go over to screen. Now you can see some of the real reflections that you get from the original footage. It just adds that realism to it. And then we're gonna add the exposure. Turn this down a little. And honestly, you can just keep adding effects to get the look you're going for. Honestly, right now, the picture itself was already really realistic, so I can honestly just leave it at that. And then we're gonna go do the same thing to the left eye. All right, so this looks really cool right now, but we're gonna add a little like touch to it. We're gonna make it a little bit more fancy. So um, we're gonna go right here, click on Sharing Gun 1. And this is actually the reason why I have two different Sharingan pictures. I'm gonna make this rotation and then about like right here. I'm probably gonna set that to like two. Let's see. Cool, and then we're gonna highlight these two keyframes. Go over, uh, click F9 to make them easy ease. Go over to the graph editor and then we're gonna pull this up. So it kind of slows down like that. Yeah, so right here, I might pull this back a little. Cool, and then we're just gonna copy these keyframes right here. So now we have this rotation and we're gonna add a motion blur to this. And then about like right here, we're gonna go to our Sharing Gun 2. And then I'm gonna put this over this one. And then we're gonna create this mask. And then same thing like we did with the other eye. We're gonna parent this. 
you're actually gonna have to duplicate this right mask and then put this right there and then make sure this one is alpha to this one so we're gonna make this the light in blending mode just this and then this one needs a little bit more work to make it look realistic so i'm just gonna copy these That, that, that'll be good for right now and then so about right here we're gonna add a rotation keyframe to this and then we're gonna copy these same keyframes to this and then about like right here we're gonna trim this And then we're gonna set an opacity keyframe, set this to zero, uh, go a few frames, make it 100, and then in the same spot, go to the other sharring gun, keyframe this, make it zero, go to the first keyframe and make it 100. You might actually want to put this like right here. Yeah, so I, I think that'll work. And then we'll just duplicate this left mask and then duplicate the sharring gun, put this right there. copy this opacity parent this to the left track All right, and that's how you do the Sharingan effect. So you can add a little touches to make it look how you want it to look, but I think that looks pretty cool. So now let's go to the next eye effect. All right, now we're on to our second effect, and this eye effect, we're going for like a really cool, like futuristic blue eye sort of, I don't even know. It looks cool though. So all the tracking and masking stuff we did on the showering gun, we're just gonna do the same exact thing where we track the eyes and then go to the masks and then adjust the masking and pretty much the same exact process. So after you're finished with that, um, if you have like a lot of detail in your eye, Th this will be a lot easier for you but if you're someone like me with like no detail in your eye at all get a fake eye contact online so yeah we really got to use fake eyes out here but i'm just gonna drag this under my right mask and then adjust this to here just like the same exact process of the last one there we go and then this one i might make the mask a little less yeah like that so i'm going to change the mask expansion to negative seven instead of negative ten so that looks good and then again we're gonna make sure you put alpha mat and then parent this to the right track Okay, and then we're gonna add a curves to this. And then first, we're actually gonna make this screen blending mode. So you can see the reflections. And then we're gonna adjust this like that, a little bit of an S curve. And then we're gonna add an exposure. Make this like negative 0.18. And then we're gonna add a hue and saturation and adjust the hue to 
the exact blue color you're looking for. So I'm going to go like that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then we're going to turn the saturation up just a little. Don't go overboard with the saturation. And then we're going to go to the photo filter and then go here, do the deep blue and then adjust this to like 80%. And there we go. And now you want to add an adjustment layer. Put this under the eye effect. I'm going to trim these and then you're going to parent the adjustment layer to the right track as well. Create a rough mask. The mask doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be feathering a lot, but something like this. And then we're going to add a curves to this and make this add uh, add blending mode. And then we're going to go over here to the blue curve and go something like this and then go to the green, put this up a little, and then we're gonna add another curves and get the blue one, go like that, and then use the red curve, something like that, so you get like a really nice blue. And then we're gonna go over to the feather and then feather this a lot to like there. And then we're going to go to the mask expansion, decrease this a little. And yeah, that that looks really cool. Let's look at it without the adjustment layer makes a huge difference. And then pretty much we can just duplicate these. So then with the other eye, we can just duplicate this make this the left track bring this over here and then duplicate the adjustment layer put that under make it the left track and then i'm gonna do right click transform flip horizontal and then put that like right there and then yeah that should be it yeah, that looks pretty cool if you ask me. On oh, one adjustment I might make here on the left one, I forgot to change the expansion, so I think it was negative seven. Yeah, that looks better. Sorry, last interruption, but before we go on to this last effect, me and a few of my friends are working on this team called Wildcard Productions, and we just made a YouTube channel and uploaded our first YouTube video. And the video is fire, so it would mean the world to me and my friends if you could go check the channel out we're gonna be uploading a bunch of high quality content and yeah so i'll have a link in the description below all right and then for the last effect we're gonna go for like a weird demonic eye looking thing you can use for like horror films or whatever we're, we're gonna approach this a little bit of a different way so we're still gonna do the same tracking thing we're gonna make the same tracks and then for the masking part is a little different instead of masking out the pupil you you want to mask out the entire eye so do that for both eyes once you do that we're gonna duplicate our footage twice rename one of them oh whoops rename one of them left eye and then the other one right eye I messed up the order when uh, masking, I put the left mask on the right track. So the left mask is actually the right eye. Did that even make sense? Uh, I just messed it up. But yeah, anyways, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, we'll start with the right one. We're gonna right click, go to time, freeze frame. And then we're gonna drag this to the beginning and then trim this up here. And then we're going to make another mask right here, like that. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go like that. Oh, we actually need to hide this layer. So 
Okay, now there we go. And so we're just gonna scale this up enough where it covers our entire eye. You can scale it up like this if you want. Just enough so it covers our eye. And then we're gonna do alpha matte. And then there we go, that's, that's already really creepy. So then we're just gonna do that same thing to this one. We're gonna freeze frame it. And then mask this eye out, unhide it, and then scale it. And then do alpha mountain that. And so this one, this mask, let's make the mask expansion. It's like the mask expansion zero. And so this one, we might need to feather it a little. Feather it to like 29. All right, so you just wanna parent the um, eyes to the right tracks and then should have that so that looks pretty good right now i actually might decrease the feather on it um say yeah i'm gonna yeah decrease it to like 15 um and that looks good and then let's add a curves to one of them Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then we'll copy that to there. Kind of make it a little bit darker. And then we're gonna add an adjustment layer. Add a curves to this. And then we're actually gonna make this blending mode overlay. And then we're gonna put this under one of them. Create a mask. And then feather it a lot. You can adjust the curves if you want. Actually, it might make it a little darker. And then you just want to parent this to the right track. And then just duplicate this adjustment layer. Uh, transform, flip, parent this, and we'll do some trimming. And yeah, boom, that's how you get that evil horror eye look. And you can obviously do some adjustments if you want, like for example, like the ring light, the reflection kind of looks weird. So it's like maybe fix that to make it match. You can like rotate it and just try to make it match or even better. You can just, what I actually should have done is duplicated this one and then moved it to here. So it's like in the same position and everything. But, but yeah, that's how you do that. And there's obviously different ways to do different eyes and stuff. These are just the ways I do it. So yeah, if you want me to do another tutorial, just let me know in the comments. And if you're not following my TikTok already, it's at Isaiah Films. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.